sisters bona fide. Sisters bona fide. Sisters bona fide. My sister and me. What's up, girl? Hey, girl. Nothing much. How you doing? I'm okay. How are you? How has your week been going so far? So far. <laughs> I'm doing fine. It's been going okay, girl. Just busy, same old stuff. But, yep, same old stuff. Just busy trying to make make it through the week. Not hear you, girl. Yeah. Same here. Yeah, so what's been on your mind, girl? What's been on your mind? What's on my mind? Oh my gosh, I don't know. It's just it's been a lot. It's a lot going on in the world, obviously. But mm -hmm. um, one of the things that was on my mind is like, especially being on social media, being active on it, is seeing how like body image is influenced, has influenced a lot of like people. Um, particularly, I see a lot of women doing it. I'm sure men do it as well, but a lot of women are, um, you know, changing their, their body to match what, what society deems to be beautiful. Yeah. Um, so I don't know, what, you, what, are you, what are your thoughts on that? Because I feel like it's a very interesting topic. It is. I mean, I see it. I see it all through social media. I mean, look, to each is own. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I don't judge, but it's just, it, it makes you think when you start seeing like the conformity happen, you know? Right. And like every time you turn around, there's somebody doing something to, to mimic the way somebody else looks. Right. And it's like, um, you know, so it, it could be sad for several reasons. It could be sad if you're really just trying to be like somebody else. You know, I see that as an issue. And it's another reason is if you're doing it because you think you don't look good the way you are, you know, right. then that's a whole nother thing we have to work on, like building up self-esteem and, and building up our own self-esteem and the self-esteem of our peers. Who said that that look with the, the tight waist, you know, the, the people getting BBLs left and right? Like mm -hmm. who said that that was the standard of beauty yeah you know and you know what's so crazy that i've been thinking about lately you Just remember like, back in the day well you know i think our our look black and brown women i think our look how we come naturally is being more accepted um than it mm -hmm. used to be but right. i remember feeling as a kid like the standard of beauty was being skinny pale skin, blonde hair, blue eyes. Like that was what somebody thought was beautiful. Right. And like, I don't know about you, but that, I know that made me feel a way. But yeah. now what, what is the narrative that we're setting for our younger generation? You know what I mean? Like we're, mm -hmm. we're, it's like, we're kind of doing the same thing within our own communities. Like making yeah. these girls think, making these young girls think that like that's, if you don't look like that, you don't look bomb, you know? Right, exactly. It's crazy, I don't know, girl. It is, it's definitely crazy. And I, speaking of like thinking back in the day, it's mm -hmm. like when you think about the the women who come before us, like, you know, in, 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 this, in the celebrity world, like the Aaliyahs and the, and you know, mm -hmm. from Jill Scott to Aaliyah to, to anybody, Lauren Hill, like, they set the tone, they epitomized like natural beauty. There yeah. was nothing or is nothing fake about them. And that is what, um, you know, what was like the cornerstone for like what black women looked like back in the day. Right. Um, and they they embraced their, their beauty, no matter what sizes, what size they were, they embraced it, they loved it, and we loved them for it. So exactly. I, I just, I kind of like sit back and I think like, where was the shift? And, you know, and like you said, like, who's to say, who should say what is beautiful or not? But like, when did that shift happen where now beauty is, is it's a, it's a certain style of type that you have to be. Um, and because it just, it was not always like that. Like women were just coming as, as they, you know, especially in our culture, I feel like women were coming as they were. But then you also had what, what was on portrayed on television outside of our community. The black, right. you said the blonde hair, blue eyes, the blonde hair, thin waist, blue eyes, and stuff like that. But in our community, I felt I felt like back in the day that was what was was beautiful and that was fine enough, that was good enough. Like being natural was good enough. So I'm, I'm just I, I wonder like when you know I don't remember exactly when that shift happened. 
And like you said, to each his own. If that's what you want to do, then that's totally fine. Um, I have my, where I have an issue with it is when, you know, women are doing it for the wrong reasons. Exactly. Where, because they're, they're not loving who they are. They're not loving themselves for who they are. Um, and then when they're doing it unsafely, like you, you yeah. mentioned the, the Brazilian butt lifts. Okay, if, if it's done in a healthy environment by a, a, a licensed doctor that knows what they're doing, right. to do it. But you have women that are trying to cut, people that are trying to cut corners, going yep. to these remote places and getting this work done on their bodies and then ended up sick or possibly dead because of it. And yep. it's like, is it worth it? It's not worth, in my opinion, it's not worth it to be to, to fit that mold, number one. And then number two is like, not to throw shade, but sometimes I can't tell the difference between one select, one Instagram girl from another. I can't tell. Right. A lot of them look alike. And it's like, where's the individual, you know, traits that, that we used to have that just, that were beautiful as they were without having to have all these enhancements in order to, to you know, to fit that mold of beauty. I, I don't know. that. It just, it just doesn't make sense to me, like to- I agree. To, you know, to, to do that, to look like everybody else, like for what? I it's, agree. You know? Oh, and, no. what is it, and what is it that like, you would literally be willing to risk your life for like these enhancements? Like, mm -hmm. what, what is that? Where's that disconnect of like, I'll risk my my safety, my health, just to look like this. That's some serious stuff. That really, honestly, I mean, most of the times, like, you got to be rich to get this stuff done right. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. To get the yeah. best doctors who know what they're doing, who does right. it as safely as possible. But these women who, who don't have the means... Mm -hmm. And like that are going to these remote places, like where is the disconnect that they literally don't take into to um consideration that they could possibly not come back home? Exactly. That is shifts to a whole my issue where like where is the love for yourself? Mm -hmm. And I'm not throwing any shade because one of my biggest things is struggling with body image. Right. Being someone who, like all my life, I've been a thick girl. Like even when I was little, I was a chubby kid. I've always been chubby. I've always been tall. I've just been big, 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 big since I was like four years old. <laughs> <laughs> I've always been big, like, you know, in every way. Height, I've always been chubby. You know, right. when I started getting into my teenage years where I started being more conscious of the way that I looked, I made mm -hmm. sure to more active so there were times in my life where I was more fit than others right. a good um more confident than I've been at like another time in my life particularly through like maybe 14 to 17 like was the time that I was most confident in the way I looked physically mm -hmm. and even as a 30 year old woman I struggle daily with how I look Mm -hmm. You know, I struggle with the fact that, like, right now, I've gained so much weight over quarantine. This is, like, the biggest I've ever been in my entire life. Yeah. You know? And I struggle with wanting to wear a certain outfit, putting it on, and doubling back down, and taking it off. Mm -hmm. And constantly, even around my own husband, sometimes feeling insecure, even though he doesn't make me feel that way. But I get in my own head, right. you know? looking down at my arms and seeing how much more jiggly they was than a couple, than a year ago. Like all of these things that make me feel self-conscious. Mm -hmm. So I get that part. You know, right. I'm not over here saying I'm the most confident person in the world. Right. But I do still have that connection within myself and that strength to say, well, you know what, then there's something I need to work on. Right. You know, because it's not in um, as long as I'm healthy, it's not in, you know, doing everything I have to do to foster a certain look to fit society's needs. Exactly. But to work on myself and my emotions and my self-esteem so that mm -hmm. I can feel confident no matter how I, no matter what size I am. Exactly. 
the thing that what bothers me is the disconnect many women have and you know because you also hear these stories of how women they like get addicted to plastic surgery yeah that's a good point that's another thing so mm-hmm. like you know what what is it that we have to do as a community as women um to help like like we said if that's what you want to do that's fine if you're doing it because you like it and you think it makes you look good that's beautiful right. but if you are doing it because you think that you'll you will be more accepted if you mm-hmm. look this way that is the wrong reason to do it that's the problem yeah one place i feel like we need to start is stop tearing each other down yes like that is one of the main problems Mm-hmm. Saying we support each other, but then one girl's calling the next girl ugly, or she looks like this, or her her face looks like this, or her stomach mm-hmm. looks like that. Come on, it's ridiculous. You know, and one thing I know that you bring up a lot in certain conversations we have is like you never know what's the reason for why exactly. somebody looks the certain way they do. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's true. A lot. It's it's so true. Exactly. Like it. Just because, first of all, like, and I'm not just saying this, I I feel like all different types of body types are beautiful. Like, no matter what it is, especially if it's a healthy, if if the person is healthy, it's beautiful. It's, that, that's what makes you you. Like, that's just what it is. You can't, I can't help how my body, I mean, I, you know, I can be healthy and be active, but at the end of the day, my body type is going to be my body type, just like it's going to be your body type. That's just what it is naturally. So it's just like, you know, I, I you know, I'm happy. I love that. I love the individualistic traits that are, that make us who we are. Um, so, but I, I think where, where you said, which I think is a great point about tearing each other down. It's just, I, I see that a lot, you know, on, on like Instagram, social media in general, like, you know, it, it's, it's kind of degrading in a way. And I, I feel like a lot of that, um, a lot of what, what women, the decisions that women make to kind of alter their body is, like I said, is because of social media. You, If you feel social media is, is giving you this mindset, I'm not good enough, I'm not beautiful, like I need to change something in me, then take a break from social media. Like right. social media is an, is an arbitrary world, it's not real. People who, yeah. who try to put up all these fronts and try to pretend like their lives are so perfect or you know, getting all this body work done and, you know, to, to try to hide something that's, you know, within them that they don't necessarily like or whatever the case is, like that, that's, it's all fake. So I just like, I feel like if that's the case, if, if there is, if there's anything that I could say to, to this situation that could, you know, shed some light or some like positivity to it, it's just like, you know, sometimes just take a break from social media. Cause I feel like that, that's a, that's a huge component um, as to why women do the, the things that, that they do to try to alter their bodies. Exactly. And honestly, I I hear you too. It's just like, in terms of, um, you know, I, I struggle with it too. Like body images, like I'm look, I look at pictures of myself from back in the day where right. I was a teenager. I'm like, oh my gosh, like this is, this is amazing. I, I don't think I'll ever look like, look like that. <laughs> like for real. But then it's like, you gotta, the, the way I'm trying to see it now is, you know, I, I do my best to stay healthy and to, to be active and to work out whatever yeah. the case is and to, you know, to do everything in my power to make sure that I'm living as, as, as healthy of a life as possible so that way I can be as fit as possible. But at the end of the day, I had to come to terms with like what I'm comparing myself to now as a grown woman I'm comparing myself to a 18 year old kid or a 20 something year old kid. Like I was that you're much younger, like your body changes. It, it's it's gonna change as time goes on. And that's just life and how it is. So it's just like, I had to kind of get off that. I'm, and I'm still burning. I haven't gotten out of it yet, but I'm trying to get off that mindset where it's like, I cannot continue to compare myself to the, you know, 10 year, 15 year ago, Ebony, cause that's not the same. I'm not the same person. Like everything is has changed since then, so um, and I, and that, that's why I feel like people miss lose sight of that. It's just like you know that that's just that's natural. That's the way your that's the way life works. Like that's the way your body is it's going to change. It's going to morph into into what I like to call grown grown woman weight, like a grown person. Where like I, you're a grown person, you're not 
18, 19 years old anymore. Exactly. Um, and, and then one more thing, I want to keep beating this horse dead, but I, I feel like with, if, especially like with younger women or people who choose to to do, to like, you know, change, alter their bodies or their cases, I don't think that they're taking that into consideration, that their bodies will, will change naturally. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you, you got to kind of think, okay, Am I doing this for the for the right reasons? Because yeah, I'm I'm 20 years old now and I'm I'm getting this stuff done. But what's going to happen 10 years from now? Like, how will this affect my body going forward? Every doctor ain't going to be real with you and tell you that because they they just want your money, so they're exactly. not going to tell you what the real deal is. But you have to be a little bit more cognizant of the fact that like, look, my body can possibly change and it will change. So how will this? How will my decisions now to alter my body affect? how I move forward um, in 10, 15, 20 years from now. So, exactly. yeah, but that's, I don't know. I, I, be, I be thinking a lot about body image and stuff like that and like how how I, I try to change my mindset to, to love myself more and, and be, you know, do what I can to, to make the, the positive change in, in how I portray myself. But just also thinking about the, the people who struggle with it and who make these decisions based off of what society deems to be beautiful. Like, I just, I don't know. I just, I just wish that that would change, honestly. I agree. I don't, I don't like that, you know? I agree. I would like to say something because I feel like this, I, I've literally witnessed this on social media. Mm -hmm. there, ha there has been a wave of, um, social uh influ social influencers coming out showing that they are really using photoshop in their day-to-day mm. -day photos mm. so like i noticed it with like a couple of like youtube um influencers who have instagram i noticed mm. it was like the last one i saw was a very big um makeup artist she had showed and this was a picture of her, like how you would just snap a picture of you. So right. I think women like in the middle of her with um, fitness gear on, mm -hmm. women have to take into consideration that there are other women who are literally photoshopping their day to day photos that like who got the time to I don't I just don't understand it yeah. so now now you're glorifying how and not to say she's not beautiful before photoshop because she is right. I think I didn't even see the scenes for the photoshop honestly when she right. showed her before picture but whatever but right. to say that women are literally um fixated on how she looks had no idea her body shape was so different underneath mm -hmm. the photo top like wow. like more like of a uh, a squared body type but right. in, the, in the pictures we're used to seeing of her i guess however they do it i don't know but her waist was thin she her, she looked like she had bigger hips bigger butt right that is not how she looked before the photoshop and i'm talking about this is the everyday picture of her standing outside like she's about to go to the gym oh so take into consideration what you're glorifying is not even how these people are really living day to day. Ooh, see, that's I'm crazy. To head around how you could look like that when they don't even really look like that. No. I could not believe it. That is nuts. Down I, to, I, I did not know that. Down to another influencer that I saw who gets glorified for how clear her skin is. Hmm revealed the other day that she photoshopped she has and there's no problem with anybody who has acne but she has a really really heavy case of acne and she gets glorified for how, oh what's your skincare routine what's your skincare routine so now i guess now she's feeling the pressures and the guilt and she's like look before you know you guys go trying to do crazy stuff to think this is how my pictures look unedited so now you got young girls, especially looking like, wow, my gosh, she has perfect skin. Exactly. Got it. That you is, know? see, that's a great point. I'm happy that you mentioned that. That's exactly. crazy. And that's fine. You can do whatever you look. I'll have a little filter every now and again. Right, right now, how, how they seeing us on this video is how they get us. This is how we look. Right. We, have, we have no makeup on. This is what it is. And you know. <laughs> A 
look good on. I, I guess that counts. Um, you know, but still, and I, I just said that to say that I'm not like I love a big thing. Of course, you look. know. So I'm not over here saying like, oh, that. I'm not over here like, no, no. no these kind of stuff like no. I love a beat face I of love course. makeup and all the aesthetics and, and I love me a filter you know mm-hmm. I'm not getting with that but the message is you know try to work on self love and mm-hmm. and look at yourself in the mirror and find things that you 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 find beautiful about yourself and that's what I try to do like if I'm feeling down or if I feel like I'm being too hard on myself I'll be like oh you know what I look this cute oh you know what I got cute shoes on Mm-hmm. I mean, you know. Yes. I don't know. There's certain things like I like my cheeks right here. You gorgeous, girl. Everything. Everything. You know, like you know, that's what I'm saying. So that's what I say, you know what? Um, and then it helps when you have people in your life like you, like mm-hmm. the men we have that consistently mm-hmm. make us feel beautiful, tell us we're beautiful. Mm-hmm. You know? So yep. I just wish that um more women would, would see that and try to fix the inside before you know because you can do whatever you want to the outside but it's never gonna make you feel how you yes it's not it's not gonna validate your worth emotionally it's true to yourself not to you know because sometimes we're harder than our, on ourselves than how we feel other people perceive us it's true it's you know? so true that yes i, I completely not all beautiful that's just all we trying to say <laughs> that's what we're saying and we tell we're gonna tell you that you're beautiful like if you need it y'all can come in the comment section talk to us Exactly. Who's we'll, we'll telling you that you're beautiful? Y'all with the BBLs is beautiful too. Y'all look, everybody, we yes. think everybody, all body types, all all everything. But we're just saying to do some self-reflection before, you know, trying to fit the fat. That's all we're exactly. saying. Exactly. You know, and if you're gonna do it, do it for the right reasons. Yes. Do it for the reasons that that say, look, I love myself, but I just want to do a little, little nip no, tuck here, and that's not. totally fine. Listen, that's totally fine. But like, don't do it because you you think it's gonna change how you, like you said, how you feel about yourself on the inside. Because you're still gonna get up from that table and not love yourself at the end of the day. So find things about you naturally that you love. Get the people in your life that will love you for who you are. Yeah. And look, we all in this together. We just gotta find things that, you know, that, that make us who we are, that make us great. Yep. And above all, be safe. Yes. Be safe. Don't be losing your life, getting some That's injections, crazy. some fat cut out that but like don't is not worth it. Go back home to your mamas, your kids, your sisters, your brothers. Mm-hmm. Come back home. That's all I'm saying. So it's be true. Safe. It's true. It's you know? so true. Anything else on your mind? Like, what's on? Is there something that's on your mind that you've been thinking about? Um, <laughs> I don't know why I asked that. <laughs> I, I do have some stuff on my mind, but maybe we'll save that for for All another. Right. All right. Don't ask me that. All right, y'all. Bye. Bye. It's official. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Ding! Sisters Bonafide.